Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. A few things to mention before we dive into the analysis. Bear in mind that today um, the stock market is closing early and tomorrow the stock market is going to be closed because of the bank holiday in the US. So I'm not sure how much more exciting movement we're going to see. To be fair, there hasn't been any exciting movement here since, um, doo -doo -doo, well, since the 21st of June. Okay, Friday was a bit interesting, but that's it. Um, yeah, so ideally we see a little bit more upside, but I'm not sure if we are going to see that today or tomorrow because of the uh, bank holiday. Yeah, but generally it is still expected for price to go higher. I'm going to focus only on the shorter time frame wave count here in this middle of the day update because not too much happened. Um, but we also take a look at the Bitcoin dominance chart briefly. Um, if I... <laughs> If I don't forget until the end of the video. No, just quick update. So no change at all. I'm still looking at primarily at one more high. We have micro support here at 30,170 and this wave two. I have sketched out how the roadmap for one more high would look like in this fifth wave. Ideally, we have we're now in wave three of wave five and already completed a one two setup. Now, okay. Alternatively, this wave two could go a little lower if we deal here with a high B wave. Um, that is absolutely possible because so far we haven't really started to rally impulsively. So you know what could happen, but this is only the micro count. These are only ideas. You can't really rely on the micro counting too much, but they give you the invalidation points and everything for the current wave count. So important is to understand that we are exactly in this wave count with a direct continuation to the upside as long as we are holding 30,170. However, a break below that could, for example, lead to this, that we have a reset of wave two that is absolutely possible. It wouldn't be too deep and is valid as long as we're holding 29,400. Um, and then we would deal here with, um, yeah, an A wave, you know, a B wave, and a C wave down maybe, you know, but again, this is all what if, you know, what if, could it be? Yes, of course it could be, you know, but is it likely? I don't see it at the moment. You know, we are currently holding this structure and the trend should be up. But if we break below larger support, the 50% retracement level, I will assume that we are already in the wave two, to be honest, so that we don't get one more high, but at the moment it is still favored. To be honest, already a break below this Friday low, which is at 29,400, would make me probably favor that we are in the wave two pullback because then this wave four, what I'm currently, well, I count the wave four complete, right? But if we break really below that level, below that Friday swing low, I have to assume that we're already in the wave two. It would just be too much of a wave four. I mean, because we could say if we come down, make an, a low below the Friday low, that we resetting wave four, but it would be a massive wave four. And I would then assume that we are actually in the wave two. So, but until then, you know, price expected to go higher. Next resistance is around 31,460. And if we go higher target wise, 31.8K to 32K. Nothing else really to mention. If we then come down in a wave two, support is down at 26,190. We don't need to go down that low, but at one of these FIP levels, we should find support in the wave two. Now, before we finish the video, let's look at the Bitcoin dominance chart. Again, there is not much more to add at this stage. Um, Bitcoin dominance chart is getting interesting because Bitcoin has obviously started to um, be outperformed a little bit by, by Ethereum again. So we talked in one of the last videos and in the last member, no, not the last member live stream, but the one before that, we talked about the Bitcoin dominance chart in much detail, but here in the very short term, just to show you quickly, um, we probably rallied in a third wave to the 29th of June high, and we're now coming back in a wave four. So the wave four might have started. That does not really mean alt season, but it could be that Bitcoin is starting to get uh, outperformed by some altcoins yeah, for the maybe the next few weeks or so before we rally higher once more. And after that, however, we might be looking at an alt season, to be honest. Yeah. So this is something that could, that might have started as long as it stays below 52.4%. Oh, 52, 52.2%. This is the expected uh, behavior. If it goes above that, okay, wave three is probably still running and Bitcoin is taking the lead again. 
Now I just see here um, that Bitcoin is going a bit. So yeah, maybe, maybe you will know more when you watch the video. Maybe it's already outdated this one, but not really outdated. I mean, the expectation is for it to go higher. Let's see if it works out. All right, that's my update about Bitcoin. I hope you will like the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.